Welcome to Commonwealth Secondary School, a school that believes in getting students to understand what it means to be environmentally conscious by developing the school into a learning environment. We live in an urbanized city and we are continuing to urbanize at a rapid rate. As a result of shrinking habitats and forest fragmentation in Singapore, the need to educate people to coexist with wildlife peacefully is getting more urgent. Situated right across the Pandan Reservoir and Green Corridor, many animals have visited our school. Some even call it their home. Here in the wetland of our school, birds love to come and eat the fruits here every day. One such bird is the juvenile pink-necked green pigeon. It likes to feed on the berries of the sandudok plant. Due to high volume of birds flying past the wetland, we have recorded a few cases of bird collision with the building over the years. This is mostly due to the reflection of the vegetation on the glass panels along the building. After four such cases were recorded, the most recent being the near threatened species, the jumbo fruit dove, the school decided that something had to be done to prevent future collisions. After all the cases of bird collision in our school, non-reflective stickers were added to reflective surfaces facing the wetlands, such as these glass panes. Such mitigation measures reduces the reflectiveness of the glass panes, making the school a bird-safe environment. An article was also written in the Today newspaper regarding the measures our school took. This was due to a Facebook post of a dead jungle fruit dog, which garnered over 3,000 responses and went viral. One of the many instances where a school took the opportunity to exemplify compassion towards wildlife. Since our school has many animal sightings, it is important for students to know what has to be done when an animal is found injured or dead. Over the years, the message is clear. Staff and students in the school have the responsibility to report any cases of wildlife sightings in the school, especially when the animal requires protection or medical attention. After the students report a wildlife sighting to the general office, our teacher, Mr. Jacob Tan, will be informed to attend to the case. Upon the investigation and necessary action, an email will be sent out to the entire school to bring them through the wildlife rescue process. This way, the animals will not be harmed by anyone. Let's interview a student on his wildlife encounter in our school. Would you share with me a wildlife encounter in your school? And how has this experience added to your school experience? Once I saw a ginormous monitor lizard that had huge scaly limbs and was swagging its gigantic tail. This uh, actually, uh, I was very surprised and shocked that our school had uh, many types of biodiversities. Uh, this certainly was a really fun experience and I even told the teacher and took photos about it also. Now I realise if I don't provoke it, it won't disturb me. I gain a deeper understanding of the animals in our school. I'm glad you did the right thing. What do you think students should do when they face a similar experience like yours? I think they should immediately report the incident to the teacher and take a po picture if possible for further reference. I also think that they should not provoke it and try to not disturb it as it will, ha as it will make the animals feel overprotective of themselves and their safety.
And also do remember to find out more of the animal if you have time. In this day and age, it's important to know how to coexist with our natural environment and continue to find ways to help our wildlife and our environment thrive in this urban setting. We hope this video has helped you understand more about human-wildlife interaction in our school. We also encourage other schools to join us in making Singapore a safe haven for wildlife.